What used to be considered ugly shoes in the 2000s and mostly geared for just kids has been quite a popular trend in today's shoe fashion. I see them literally everywhere. People wear them barefoot or with socks. And if you follow my channel, you know I'm not really one to spend money solely on fashion, but as a swimmer, this was actually a very practical shoe for me. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down my experience wearing the Crocs Classic Clogs for the past four months, whether you should buy them based on their practicality and if they're worth the hype or not. So first talking about the overview of this shoe, it's basically a one piece plastic design in the form of a clog so it's easy to slip on and slip out. It just has this extra band here which people call it the sport band to help your feet get locked in a little bit better. Inside of the shoe has a few strategically placed bumps so it is not going to be waterlogged and it allows your feet to have a little bit better grip in them when there is moisture. The midsole is actually quite thick and cushiony, so even people who are in their older age buy Crocs really solely for their comfort in walking in them. And their outsole is also nice and grippy too. And of course, it has the iconic Crocs holes on the top and some slits along the midsole towards the toe area. Which, if you're not too careful, you may get something called Crocs pox if you're out on a sunny day without some protection in form of sunscreen or socks. So you've been warned. Of course, these holes also give way to a whole new market of things called gibbets where you can use to insert into these holes and customize your shoes. Moving on to my personal experience wearing these Crocs. So as I mentioned earlier, I use them primarily for just going to and from swimming sessions, though I did wear it when I went to get my car wash. Uh, check out my latest video on that. But my main drive for buying these classic clogs was to replace my two shoe setup. Previously, I was wearing things like ferries to just get to the facility and then poolside and in the shower, I would switch to the Crocs flip-flops, which I also did reviews on both of those videos. Check out my channel if you haven't seen them. And this has worked great because it is comfortable for outdoor walking and it's grippy enough for poolside and of course it's waterproof for showering. And many others feel the same as I had found countless of other people bring Crocs to the pool as well. Additionally, they are comfortable enough for general walking which makes them a very classic favorite for people who want to use it of course by the pool, water parks, or theme parks that may encounter some water. Personally, I wouldn't be caught dead wearing socks with them, but I've seen plenty of people wear socks with them and basically treat them like close-toed slippers. I've seen people wear them even into winter uh, using this fashion. Speaking of slippers, it's very easy to just slip in and out of them uh, without the strap, which is why they are so popular amongst parents with kids because there's no fuss getting kids into shoes and they are easy to clean. Though I do want to point out that for these classic clogs, they do have a little bit of slits towards the midsole of the shoe towards the toes that may allow some unwanted dirt to get in. Personally, I don't really have an issue with this design because I normally don't go walking in grass or mud, but if you do have kids, this might be a consideration. Crocs do make a similar model to this one, but it has more of a raised midsole without the holes to alleviate that potential issue. So after four months of wearing them primarily for swimming, this is the current wear and tear situation of the Crocs, which is pretty good, I think. So these are lasting pretty well as plastic shoes. Now talking about the sizing and the fit. Now these definitely run large, so I would recommend sizing down. Actually, I had to size about one and a half, two sizes down from what I normally wear because I wanted to wear them without the strap. And a little bit of a note here is it's kind of an unsaid rule in popular culture right now to not use the strap unless you're actually running in, in which they would change it to what they call sport mode. Another thing to keep in mind is that these don't have half sizes, so they only come in whole sizes and they are unisex. For the adult version, you'll see both the men and women sizes on the bottom. For the kid sizing, it'll have a junior, a J, and then the number of the youth sizing. And of course, since these are clogs, they have an overall loose fit. 
Um, I wouldn't really recommend wearing these beyond walking. They aren't a substitute for good running shoes or sneakers for parents who are considering getting these for kids. They don't have really much of an arc support either. So for parents looking to buy these for kids, I would suggest that you only let your kid wear them when you know that they're not going to do a lot of running in them. I think this is not something that would prevent them from twisting their ankle, which is something that, you know, kids will do uh, if they're running about in loose fitting shoes. So talking about the price and some of the imitations, because the price, uh, retail price for these are pretty expensive for what is essentially a plastic shoe. So places like Target have made imitations, for example, for much less. If you watch my other Crocs flip-flops review video, I did point out that I bought an imitation Crocs flip-flops too, but I immediately noticed the difference between the Crocs material because it is something that's pretty signature and it's hard to imitate and the crocs material definitely has a substantially better grip on smooth or wet surfaces so there is some value in the name brand personally though i didn't buy this at retail price i waited until there was a discount on amazon to buy mine so if you are interested in buying i'll put links in the description where you can buy them on amazon and which i often see discounts on them and not to mention they come in loads of different colors and styles that you can choose from so in conclusion, are they worth the hype? Well, in my opinion, at the retail price, no. Um, but feature-wise, they do hold up to what they are, you know, trying to design for. And I do love wearing these when I go swimming and just for casual walking. So the question of whether or not they're a fashionable shoe these days, well, only you can decide that. Again, the links will be in the description if you guys are interested.